Okay, uh, what we've got here is um, a 90 kilowatt uh, cast iron boiler fitted with um, a Kroll BR5 uh, burner. The BR5 burner um, is rated up to about 50 kilowatts uh, maximum. Um, what we quickly want to talk about is um, getting the burner going and uh, just a couple of basic uh, things for the installing plumber to uh, look at. Uh, really the first thing is um, the oil supply line and I've got a torch here and uh, what you're looking for is that you've got your oil, oil feed line going in your one inch, uh, through your one inch pipe there into the burner gun. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, with all the, um, with the Kroll BR burners, uh, they're an open vented gravity feed um, oil supply system and what you're looking for is um, that you've got um, oil coming through the degassing pipe here. Now this is a transparent pipe by the way. I'll just run the, run the torch up at the top here and maybe Jim you can pick that up. You can see there's our light and there's our top of our oil supply right there. Okay, so so our supply system uh, has, that's the uh, oil supply level of our supply system. Okay, so we've got oil coming out the degassing pipe, very important, very basic. Uh, so that's good, so we've got an oil supply. The next thing I'll do is, uh, this has had power applied to it for about 10 minutes. I'll just check that the uh, preheat tank here, where it stores the waste oil, is nice and warm to touch, and it is, it feels like it's about 45 to 50. Um, when you receive any of the small, any of these burners from Kroll, we'll preset them for the application. Okay. Now, uh, this is um, uh, one of the things that we will preset is the. We'll normally have this um, oil waste oil or oil supply set to about 80 degrees. And um, so, if you got real dribbly oil, we might get you to turn that down. But this is typical waste oil from automotive sumps and it's normally good to go on about 80 degrees, so that's nice and warm. The next two things uh, on any of the BR burners, and in this particular BR5's case, is the silver wheel sets the flame length. Now, to start up, I'm going to set that on about a 30 kilowatt flame, which will be number two, and very importantly, to the right, we've got the air supply window. So here's the secondary air supply window. Now all the BR5s, you can see I'm opening the air up there and I'm shutting it down. So right now I'll leave it there, it's about 10 mils wide, 10 mil air gap. And with any oil burner, the combination of oil and air has to be correct. And what's correct? Well pretty much if there's no black smoke coming out of the flue, it's um, very close to being a nice combustion. Okay, so I'm going to start this burner up by turning on the electronic control up here. And Jim, you might want to get a shot of the flame through the eyeglass. That'll ignite in about two seconds, everyone.
wave coming out of your foot, so you don't want that. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, for commissioning the burner gun, set the oil to the correct flame length, and you'd have to refer to the book to find out exactly what you want, and then trim the air window over here, which is the secondary air mixture. Okay, so you shut that window down, that's going to be a 